Hey guys, okay, so again, um, I'm Felicia, aka um, Miss Hot Mess and all of her randomness or her randomness, still working on it, so bear with me. Okay, so I'm going to do a test run on showing you something. Um, so currently my kitchen light, um, it's a dome light, and I can't get it off myself. So my lights, after nine years of living here, <laughs> finally went out, and I can't get the light off myself. That's not what I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to flip the camera over and when I get in there and hopefully me flipping in the camera in the other view, well, I'll have the flash on and you'll be able to see what I was going to show you. So yeah, like that, it's that light, but in my um, kitchen, um, I've actually stood on my table. Okay, seriously, don't, um, don't mind the, okay, I don't even know if I can do this now. Um... Yeah, apparently I can't. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. Um, yeah, I don't think you guys are going to be able to see it. So, yeah, we're kind of working in the dark. I need to... Ex oh, okay, we're going to we're gonna pause for a second. I will be right back. Okay, so we're back again. Um, so here's the deal. I actually have, thankfully, a iPhone that I got. And I have, aka, a flashlight now. So, um... Yeah, so that is the dome light that I can't get to be on, but that's not, again, what I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to show you um, what I like to call, again, sorry guys for the light and everything like that. Again, this is, um, yeah. Okay, so right there is what I like to call food pantry creation. And I am someone who has been very blessed when, um, unfortunately, I can't afford food, um, again, for, if this is your first video, I'm a type 1 diabetic, and also I'm full of randomness. My life is just one chaotic hot mess random, hence my new name. Um, and again, I'm Felicia, but that's whatever. But, so the deal is, over my years, um, like many, many people in the world, I bust my ass, I work, I work hard, but these things called um, expenses um are a little too much at times so it's kind of like hey as a type 1 diabetic i should eat healthy i should be eating the right food and well unfortunately sometimes that's not possible why do you think like america in itself has such a huge obesity rate at this point um why do you think um just the unhealthiness of the world just happening. There's so much that's going on with us that um, we could be so much better. And again, no political agenda here or sides or anything like that. I'm just kind of trying to show you what I've been blessed to take advantage of. So um, in the area that I live, I have had the, the, um, the, again, the blessing of being able to go to a couple food pantries. That have worked in my um, um with my schedule and stuff like that over over time, and I've made some really good different things, and I'm probably gonna show them to you over some time, whatnot. Um, and I apologize, it is like I think like 2 a.m. right now. Yeah, it's 2:20 um, Eastern Standard Time, and to tell you the date, it's the 18th of October. Um, time stamping this. Um, I really should be sleeping right now, and I'm not. I will be going to sleep very shortly, to tell you the truth. But I wanted to do this before I went to bed. Sorry for the yawning heads, the bed thing. Okay, so back to the food pantries that I've been blessed to, to take a part of and stuff. They, they hook you up with food. So if you are in a situation like I've been, can't afford groceries, do me a favor for yourself because I'm a very stubborn, bullheaded person. It took me years, and I'm talking years, to humble myself and actually ask for help. Like, straight out, there was a period in time I had, like, barely any food going on in my house. Friends of mine who might see this, to be honest, and again, I really want to be, want to thank everybody in my life that's helped me in any way, in all possible shapes, forms, from giving me money to buy groceries to hooking me up with food when we've gone out for things, um, like, there's things I've done, like, after the event, like, a few of us would go and socialize afterwards, and I literally would show up just because I want to be part of with no money, and, like, my friends that I was um, with at the time, and, and a good portion of them are still my friends today. I'm really blessed to have them in my life, because um, I am annoying as hell, to be honest. Um, again, some of you are going to be grateful that 
my life is not your life. I am your hot mess for you. <laughs> um, but okay, but back. Um, like they would, they would make sure I was fed. That me, making sure that I was trying to stay healthy as best as I could. So a while ago, I got a couple things from the food pantry, and um, one was uh, again non, no name brand, um, chopped spinach. Um, and I, and this is not the first time I've done this creation. It's just the first time I've done it with, with mainly this soup. Um, last time I did it with, was with cream of chicken and a huge, the family size one. So it, like every time I kind of make a different creations and you probably do that too. You have a kind of recipe and you just kind of throw whatever might be in the house at the time. Like, um, like leftover dinners and things like that or casseroles and stuff. Um, we've all been in those type of situations. So this was just kind of like a makeshift situation again. Um, Oh, and no sponsorship, no no affiliation, but I like, I used to rag on my mother for shopping on QVC for years. By the way, I've become such a Temptation fan. Like, I, I know how good they are in general, but like, Tara and Temptations, like, they actually have some really great products, and so that that um, cooking thing I, I was using, or you saw it, and um, one, I put it in the fridge after, like, when, how much is in there, just with the cover on it, I can stick it in, and I apologize, you guys are gonna look at my fridge for a minute, it's kind of ridiculous, um, so, right now, it's kind of empty, so, but I will stick it on this shelf right here, yeah, I'm telling you, there's not a lot in my fridge right now, um, so, but basically, like, I'll stick the whole container in there, in between, and, but it's, um, really easy just to plug in skillet it's non-stick it's fabulous um uh, and it's one of their newest things on on the line um but so basically what i did was i started off with these chicken patties that i got for the food pantry i put three of them on kind of like the medium to high level and everything like that let them cook then i took them out and i diced them up so then i put them back in then i also um hold on one second do 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 Sorry, sorry, loud noises. I apologize. Okay, so then I stuck a lovely can of uh, sweet cream, um, uh, corn cream style. Kind of like, eh, what? Like, okay, I'm gonna throw that out of the trash now. Um, then I threw that in. Then I had a can of mushrooms, um, diced medley, so it's a variety of different types and everything. Canned people are like, ooh, canned mushrooms. They're not the actually these are fabulous, like legit. They're they're great. Um, nice and juicy, like like they're not like ugh. um we've all had canned like especially if you go to the pizza store and or the pizza shop and they put canned mushrooms on the pizza, it's like ugh, just put fresh ones on. Um then I put two cans of this again food pantry special uh, anybody who's ever been to the food pantry knows that that brand is a food pantry special um uh, i'm dropping things i apologize this is again 2 30 in the morning um but um so i put two cans of that in and then i put about three quarters of water in it um and oh with the the chopped um spinach what i did was i put this one was a little heavier on the spinach situation um i probably put um two cups minimally two cups of chopped spinach in there and because like i didn't like with the uh, uh mushrooms there was still water in it i didn't drain anything the the um the corn was uh cream style that's why i didn't put so much water in it i could have been a little bit more but um i just let it cook up and stuff and you know what it's kind of like a combination of cream, cream spinach, cream, that's, I mean, it's kind of more of a cream spinach special with a little chicken in it and mushroom. Um, last one I made was more of with the chicken, the cream of chicken with it because I was a little less on the spinach. So like anybody's recipes, when you mix things in, you're not really following by measuring cups and stuff. Um, one, one week it might be a little bit more broccoli if you're doing like a chicken broccoli ziti something all just kind of like you know um i really like this is gonna be a long video i apologize about that um so basically i've been really really blessed those were all things that i got through the food pantry and you can make some pretty good things like i'm actually possibly at some point going to be making a blueberry cobbler um that i've made before for friends um and 
um, they love it. Um, and it's actually like with me being a diabetic, it's not high in sugar. It's sweet. It's nice. Um, and I'll maybe show you guys that too. Again, um, hot mess and all of our randomness. None of my stuff is all going to be the same type of topics. It's just going to be all random topics. We've already had one on basically social distancing. Now we had one on food. We had the intro one. Um, I don't know. Um, but I'm over 10 minutes, so I probably should let you guys go. And I should probably go to bed. So I hope you guys all have a good night or day or whenever the heck you see this. And again, new to this, so I don't know if it's on the bottom or on the top. Why don't you subscribe if you want to like make sure <laughs> that your life is not as much of a hot mess as mine is. Um, so with that, everybody have a wonderful, safe weekend and a good night.